Hi and welcome to Peacemake TV. In today's Lightroom tutorial we're going to be taking a look at a common problem when shooting outdoors in bright sunlight and that's the problem where we've got overexposed or blown out skies so we've got the rest of the image in decent exposure. And as you can see from this image, that's exactly the problem we've got. The sky pretty much has no definition or colour in it. And even though the overall picture could do with a little bit of tonal correction, it's the sky that's the main problem. So let's take a look at how we can rectify that now and deal with some of the problems we may introduce when we start to correct for skies. So generally, one of the problems you have when you're photographing outdoors in bright sunlight is the fact that you either expose for the foreground and the, the scenery, or you expose for the sky. Now, as a general rule, you'll tend to find that there's around about two stops in your camera difference between the sky and the actual ground itself. So as you can see in this image, the actual foreground is fairly well exposed. It could do with some correction, but everything is there that we need. The sky, on the other hand, is pretty much blown out there's next to nothing there in it so what you'll generally tend to find is when people photograph outdoors like this they'll generally use a, a graduated filter to allow them to compensate for the different exposure values that you're going to use for the sky to the actual ground itself but with this photograph i didn't actually have them with me i was on holidays so it's just taking some snapshots so we can correct that quite easily by applying the graduated filter that we've got available inside Lightroom. And what that's going to do is that's effectively going to emulate using a graduated filter on our actual camera lens. So let's take a look at that and see some of the problems that we'll bring in when we're working with landscapes like this and how we can correct for those quite quickly and easily without causing any further problems. So what I'm going to do to start off with in this image is I'm going to generally correct the image while ignoring the sky so we can get everything else roughly where we want it to be. So I'll generally come in and we'll adjust the exposure ever so slightly just to drop that down a tad. I'll take the clarity, we'll give that a little bit of a boost to give us some nice contrast in there. The same with the vibrance to sort of pick out the blues and the greens and some general overall saturation and you can see that's brought some of the definition back into the sky but nothing too much in there so we'll make a couple of other corrections on there we'll deal with the highlights we'll take the shadows down just to give us a little bit more contrast in the image itself so that, that's a, a decent enough starting point so like i say we still have the problem of the sky to deal with now we could come in and start targeting this and try to make some corrections to that but the problem we're going to have is we're also going to affect everything else in the image so we can come up and use the graduated filter so we can select that from the toolbox on the right hand side from the develop module or we can press m on the keyboard and what we're going to do is we're going to create a graduated filter from about halfway down in the sky to just below the actual uh, sort of island line. So let's just do that. So I'll hold the shift key down on the keyboard so I can ensure that I've got perfectly straight. And as you can see, we've got the exposure set to minus uh, 1.31. So that's given us a bit better balance in the sky. But what it's also doing is starting to darken down this actual area of the tree line. So let's work on the sky and we'll ignore the tree line for now and we'll come back in and correct that in a moment. So let's just make some adjustments to this. Let's just get our sky somewhere better, somewhere we want it to be. A bit more clarity in there, just get some contrast in it. A little bit of dehaze just to give us that sort of separation between the actual sky and the clouds itself. So that's that's pretty good. I can take the saturation up ever so slightly. Now, what I generally tend to do is afterwards I'll come in and we'll target these colors separately. But what you can see is we've balanced the sky now a lot better with the actual foreground, the boat, the sea and things. But we've got this problem now where we've got this island is a little too dark. So normally we'd come in and we'd then make corrections to this overall image and we'll start editing the shadows. But again, the problem with that is that we adjust everything in the image. So we could use the adjustment brush and we could make selective alterations, but that's time consuming and unneeded in this situation. So what we can do is while we've got this graduated filter in effect, we can simply come down to the shadows and because we're editing the highlights and the midtones, the shadows are not really being affected by a graduated filter in the sky, which is what we want to affect. And we want to correct this problem with the actual trees. So if we use the shadows, I'll start to pull that up to open up the shadows in there. 
You can see that rebalances now the actual shadows in the trees and on the island, but it doesn't have any effect on the actual sky itself because, like I say, we're not dealing with any shadow information in there. So that's a quick and easy way of being able to enhance your skies. And if you then start to make any alterations to the darker areas in your image where you overlay those with the graduated filter, you can quickly and easily correct those by using the actual slider for the shadows. So let's just click Done on that. So with those alterations completed, let's just take a quick look at the before and after. So as you can see, we've pulled the sky out. We've also corrected for any problems we had in the shadow area on the, the actual island itself with the trees. And we've just generally got a much better balance to the image. We've now brought colors back in. We've corrected any problems there. And we've overall balance of the image is considerably better. Now, obviously, you can carry on tweaking this to your heart's content, but you've now got a better, more balanced image where the sky is actually in line with everything else in the shot. So you can now proceed on and actually make your additional edits to the actual image itself. Well, I hope you found this quick tip useful. I hope it's given you an insight into how you can use the graduated filters in your own photographs. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all of the content we add on a weekly basis. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we do on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. We read everything you post and try to answer every question you ask. Well, until next time, take care.